Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Leo. What's up? Alright, the overall energy for the reading, the Hierophant. This could be talking about a very deep connection, possibly a marriage. It could even talk about um, some strong beliefs you may have. We'll see. In the recent past, the Page of Cups jumped out in reverse. The Two of Cups, the King of Wands. So there you are, in love with someone. Now, I don't see much love coming from the other side. I do see a little, but... Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. We'll see. In the current situation, the Six of Wands, the Temperance card, the Tower. It feels like when finally things are starting to settle down, something happens here. I don't know what. When things are quite on a course here, a balanced kind of course, bam, something comes in. And we'll see when we clarify what that is. In the immediate future, the Fool, the Judgment card, the Ten of Swords. Taking a chance towards something that seems doomed to begin with. It's one of those things of I'll jump in even though I know I'm probably going to get hurt and it's probably not going to work out. So I don't know who's doing that, but um, let's clarify. Let's see. Let me see the Hierophant. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. Huh. Um, there's you trying to move on, looking to move on, and you're in the place of an open heart to do so. Uh, move on from something quite powerful here, quite meaningful to you. But you're definitely showing up open to moving on from this separate yourself from this physically at least energetically probably not but physically you're ready let's see the page of cups in reverse in the recent past five of wands king of swords ace of swords well even if there was love here it wasn't it didn't come through it didn't come through because you got the king of swords here which seems to be pressing all the buttons all of the everything if the king of swords is going a little to the extreme in that energy of i know what's best they could become controlling i don't know how well that matched you how well that worked with you because i do see conflict here um it's like somebody's coming in and taking charge and, you know, we got to do things like this, like this, like this, like this. And Leo's like, hey, but I'm here too. What about, what about what? We got to do things like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, but taking me into consideration, maybe just a little, no, we got to do things like this, <laughs> you know, um, so, of course, that created conflict because Leo didn't want to do things like this, like this, like this, like this. So, because I do see some love in there, but it... Ugh. So what? You know, when you're dealing with that kind of an energy, it doesn't really come through. Uh, let's do the Two of Cups in the recent past. Yeah. The Moon, the King of Wands, the Four of Swords. So... You still wanted this, um, probably for a very long time, and you knew that the love was there. Um, it was one of those things where you had to deal with what you felt you knew, rather than the actual fact, rather than the actual love being shown. So it's like, well, I know they love me. Well, okay, did they ever tell you? No, 
and I know they should in order for me to know, but I just know. So that actually provided a lot of healing for you, you know, somehow. Um, let's do the King of Wands in the recent past. Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. While well, you were showing up in love here. So what they failed to show, you had no problem doing. Even when it wasn't necessarily reciprocated. Quite the opposite, because your love, I see it grow. Uh, let's do the Six of Wands in the current situation. Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You're on your own here. You're doing your thing. You're independent, you're free, you're growing. There's pain that you're healing, but overall there's a sense of victory. There's a sense of, I made it. You know, out of all of whatever you've been through in there, it's like you're coming out to the surface, you know, for that um, breath of fresh air and you're like, I, I'm here, still here. And I'm strong and I made it, you know? Um, still, again, that Three of Swords is still there, though. Let's do the Temperance card. The Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, the World card. Cycle closed here over this connection. It did help you grow. It did help you heal. It did help you learn a lot of things that probably you wouldn't have. You would have learned eventually, but this kind of gave you a boost in that direction, this connection. And I feel like there's the awareness of that. There's the, yeah. It's because of this connection that I am where I am, and I've grown because of it. Um, but there's definitely a cycle closed here for you when it comes to... This connection only helped you reach this much, and from here on out, it's on you. So it's like, okay, I'm forever grateful that this connection is helping me out to blah, 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 blah. All right, got that part. At a certain stage in that growth... You're taking over. It's not the connection anymore. It's you. So it's like it's that kind of... Because you're still growing. You're still changing. You're still transforming here. Um, the part where it was because of that connection, that cycle is closed. Now, <laughs> you're on your own, basically. Let's do the tower. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Interesting. There is a sense of partnership here that seems to be coming in, but as as it's coming in, that's how fast it's going out. Uh, it's like, no, thank you. It's one of those things where it shows up as an energy. You look at it, you're like, eh, okay, but no, you know? And it's it's kind of surprising. It's kind of like, really? even for you but i don't know i don't know what this is i kind of see it tied up to whatever this that i've just gone through represents for you so it could be that same energy coming in as hey let's be friends let's hang out and you're like eh. you know where again it shows up as being uh well surprising you as much as it, it does them you're not fully out though, even from this. You're like, no, thank you. But you're kind of still, hmm, kind of looking back at it. Um, so you're not fully closed here. Let's do the full in the immediate future. The tower, the eight of cups, the hierophant. What's even more shockingly, which appears a little later, is uh, the emotional detachment from this. So I feel like you're going to find your yourself here in a place of, wow, I really did it. Like, I have no ties, no emotional ties anymore to this. Um, you're definitely closing something out major here. And I feel like the closing closing has been quite a while ago, but now it's really like exclamation mark kind of thing. Dot. I'm done. And it's giving you a sense of freedom, a sense of oof, all of that off of my shoulders kind of thing. Let's do the judgment in the immediate future.
For the judgment, you get the sun, the five of swords, the page of pentacles. I'm trying to figure out, because I see you in that place of, look at me. I've reached this place of happiness. I've reached me inside of me, and I know who I am, and I'm reflecting that outside of me. There's something about it, though, because I still... You could be in that place of finding yourself in that... Um, self-empowered kind of energy and in that place of I finally know me and then kind of being tempted to stop right there right you did all the work you know you you don't have to do the work anymore you're you're done here learn what what else is new out there which is kind of crap because um, there's always something new even when you think you've seen it all you've done it all you've been through all bullshit there's always something um, so you're showing up a little bit deceptive here, a little kind of lying to yourself in that energy. So if you find your place yourself in that place of um, done, I'm perfect. Mm -mm. There's still a lot to learn here and a lot to experience. So don't get caught up in, yay, I made it. I graduated life. And I'm not dead, yay! <laughs> you know? Um, no, it doesn't work like that. There's still a million, billion possibilities and experiences to, to be had. Ooh, the Ten of Swords, the, for the Ten of Swords you get the Devil, the Hangman, the Strength card. Yeah, Leo, you're getting comfy. You're getting really comfy and lazy there for a little bit. And I feel like that could be a little bit of a pattern that shows up for you, a little bit of achieving something completing it and then being like oh, let's just relax in the sun all our lives because that's it we're done here yes physically yes maybe take some time relax yeah stay in the sun i love the sun i'm a leo duh um energetically you're constantly running like a clock Right? That doesn't need batteries because you're your own battery. So energetically, there's constantly work, constantly shifts, constantly moving and acquiring all sorts of experiences and all sorts of... I, I see you laying back, you know? Um, and I know it's tempting and I know it's... Who doesn't want to do that all their lives, right? When you're like, I got it all. I achieved it all. A little bit of humbleness, a little bit of openness towards maybe there's something more, you know, to it. Because uh, you're falling into a pattern that's going to lead you possibly into this Ten of Swords energy. So right back into the pit of failure, of I gave up, you know. Um, it can, it can lead there if you're not paying attention here. So let's see what the universe has to close it off. Your tongue is sticking out again. Your little tongue is sticking out. The Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hangman, it's already starting to feel a little heavy, this brand new beginning, because if you, if you find yourself again in that place of I achieved it all, what can be new? What's gonna be new? That's gonna surprise you or that's gonna, you know, that's gonna feel new. Nothing, right? So if you're in that place, that's why things are feeling kind of hard right now. Because again, maybe you're getting a little lazy here. Uh, where you're kind of laying on your back and being like, ah, the sun, the sun on my face. It's so beautiful. Leo, pay attention to the birds. No, it's fine. The, the sun. I know the birds. I've heard them. They can't impress me. I've heard all the bird sounds ever. You know them. You know? And even if you know those birds, they could be sounding different. And that's where the experience kind of shifts and transforms and is new. Um, so don't get lazy, basically, when you get into this place. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.